Hi there. If you're here for your free upgrade to version 10 of Roxim from version 9, you're on the right video. I want to give you this quick introduction to tell you what's going to happen. To get version 10, you're going to need to have your activation key from version 9. Now your version 9 doesn't need to be installed on your computer to upgrade. You just need that activation key. What you're going to do is at the bottom of the page here, there'll be a spot for you to enter that activation key for version 9, and it's going to give you a new one for version 10. But here's the key. Here's the whole concept. When you do the upgrade, when you enter your version 9 key and get a version 10 key, that version 9 key is no longer activated. Basically, if you have version 9 on other computers, like you're, if you're a teacher or if you're a TARC team or if you have a desktop and a laptop, what's going to happen is all those computers over there are deactivated. They're dead for version 9. They will need to be, you'll need to download version 10 and use this new activation key to turn version 10 on. So basically what we're doing is we're trying to get all of version 9 upgraded to version 10 so that it makes our life easier here for technical support. And you're going to love version 10 anyway. It has all the features of version 9, none of or less of the bugs, so you're going to be happy to upgrade to version 10 anyway. Uh, so I just wanted to make that clear at the, at the beginning here that version 9, we're phasing it out. We're going to stop supporting it. So upgrade to version 10 as quickly as possible. So now I want to show you how to get your activation key for version 9 in case you don't have it readily available. To get your free upgrade to version 10, start by going to this URL. It's apogeerockets.com slash roxim dash v10-free-upgrade. And when you log in there, it's going to ask you to log into your Apogee account, which is down here. So you'll enter your email address and your password for your Apogee account. If you don't have one, you're going to need to create one. It's one of the things that we require for the free upgrade. Okay, and then you're going to come to the upgrade page. And the first thing I want you to notice here is Macintosh users. There's this critical note right here that you need to perform this step right here before you start the download process. So I'm going to assume, Macintosh users, that you've gone ahead and done that. Uh, because if you do it out of sequence, you're really going to cause yourself a lot of hurt. Um, and we don't want that, so do that first. Um, next, you're going to come down here to the bottom of the page, and it's going to ask you for your not Roxim 9 activation code. This is a 16-digit code that we gave you for Roxim version 9. Now, these activation codes might be stored in a number of places on your computer. First place you want to check is your email, because a lot of you have stored these emails that we've sent you when you first purchased Roxim and it has your activation code in there. So you can highlight it and copy it and paste it in to the uh, location here on the page. The other place that you can check for your keys is if you go up to the My Account menu at the Apogee website and click on Roxim Keys, it will show you your Roxim keys that you're currently active. Um, here we can also copy it. On the Mac, it's Command C. On the Windows, that's Control C. Um, and then hit the back button. Now, notice here on this page, I have a Roxim 9 key, but no Roxim 10 keys. Okay, and then scroll down here to the bottom, and this is where we're going to paste in that Roxim key. So on Macintosh, it's Command V. On Windows, it's Control V. Um, the other place that you can get a Roxim key, if you don't have one, 
For example, if you have an ILF file or an ILR file, and those of you that have them, you'll know what they are. Those of you that don't, don't worry about it. If you have this 16-digit activation key, you're all set. Um, if you don't have one, click on this link on regeneration of your Roxim key. I'm just going to open it into a new tab right now. And it brings up a product that you can actually request one from us. Um, and you'll notice that there is a small fee for this uh, because it does take a little bit of time on our part to regenerate a new key for you. We actually have to pay for these keys and if we have to create a new one, unfortunately we have to pass that cost along. Um, but it's a small fee um, and also note that it's going to take us about a day, so allow about a day for us to generate a new key for you and we will email it back to you and we will also put it into your account so you will also find it here under your my account on the Apogee website so now you've got your key pasted in here then you'll just finally hit the submit button now you do that and it's going to give you one last warning it's going to say proceeding here will deactivate your Roxim 9 and this is not only on the computer you're on, but all the other computers that you used to activate Roxim 9 on. So if you are a teacher and you have a site license, or if you're a TARC team and you have one key that's activated several computers, please note that all those computers Roxim will be deactivated on. So if you tried to use Roxim 9 on those computers, it's not going to work. This process, what we're going through here, is going to deactivate them all. So please be aware of that. That's what this means. And once you click OK, Roxim is looking up the key, or the Apogee website is looking up the key, and it's going to give you a brand new 16-digit key that only works on Roxim 10. This doesn't work on Roxim 9 anymore. Roxim 9 is now deactivated. We're trying to get everybody on 10 anyway. Also note, we're going to put this key into your account on Apogee. So if you go back to the keys up here, you'll see now my version 9 keys are gone, and I do have the version 10 key. And I'm going to go back to the free upgrade page, and you'll get the download links right here. Please note, Macintosh users, Perform that gatekeeper step first before you start the download. And then once you're ready to download, go ahead and click the link and your computer will start downloading. And I will show you how to install it in another video. So that is how to download the upgrade to version 10. I appreciate you watching this video. Those of you who actually watch the video have far fewer problems and cause us less issues and I really do appreciate that. So thank you for watching this video and now go ahead and watch the video for installing Roxim on your computer.